Quite a cloudy morning and we've got more on our plate this morning as we're expecting some snow showers to make their way into the region and the winds will be picking up as the day goes on. We're starting off chilly throughout the region, 35 degrees currently in Canistillo, 37 in Corning. We go a little bit to the southeast, we see 39 in Tawanda. So just a few degree difference as you go throughout the region and we're not expected to climb much further past what we're already at this morning. A wind advisory expected to go into effect later this evening, continuing throughout Monday morning. Thanks to wind, gu wind gusts that could exceed 45, maybe even get up to 50 miles per hour later tonight. So be very, wary, very windy, so be wary of that as you're making your way out the door today. And if you have any plans later tonight, you'll certainly have to encounter the wind as it starts to pick up in our region. Here's what we're looking at on the radar. We see some snow showers starting to push to the east here, making their way into our region. We had a couple rounds of rain and snow earlier. Those have since passed to our east. Now we have to pay attention to what's coming in from our west. It looks like parts of Allegheny County starting to see some snow showers enter the region around the area of Cuba. And then in a couple, in a couple of hours, they'll start to make their way passing through parts of Steuben County, eventually reaching Schuyler and Chemung counties. The wind as we go through the day will be getting more strong as the day goes on. And we see as we get into the afternoon, see a little bit more purple here on the map. That's indicating wind gusts of 40 miles per hour or more later tonight around 9 o'clock. We'll see a lot of areas start to see where wind gusts exceed 30 miles per hour. As we go into Monday, we see much of the map covered in this purple, indicating that we're at 40 miles per hour or stronger. And then once we get towards Monday evening, it'll start to calm down, but we'll still see gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So it'll be around for quite some time, not just today, into tomorrow as well. And we see some snow showers passing through the region. It'll be off and on as we go throughout. Notice the spotty nature here on the future track. So indicating basically a couple minutes could see some snow showers, a couple minutes nothing, a couple minutes later, more snow showers, but these will be very light in nature with how and with how warm the temperatures are still in the mid 30s to upper 30s. We're not expecting things to stick unless we're in the grass. More likely than not, things will be it'll be tough for things to stick to the pavement until we get to where temperatures will be down below freezing, continuing throughout into Monday morning where things will taper off and calm down with the nature of the mix of precipitation. We could see another light uh, light round of, of rainfall not exceeding more than two tenths of an inch, continuing them looking at the potential for snow. We see a few areas here in the blue that could potentially get up to one inch of new snow, depending on if it is able to stick to the ground. And we're looking at a 39 high today, wind gusts getting up to 30 miles per hour, continuing to be breezy into tonight as temperatures go back down into the high 20s, gusting winds potentially getting up to 50 miles per hour. The rest of the seven day forecast showing after Monday, we could have some light flurries in the early morning hours, but then we get temperatures back up into the 50s on Tuesday, the 60s by Wednesday. We could see some more rain late next week.